Welcome back to John's Films, your home for adventure resolve, tips, tricks, and technology. I think you need to know. Today we're talking about connecting remotely to a DaVinci Resolve project server. You might do this if you have a couple different computers you'd like to connect and edit against the same project with. In fact, I'm going to show you how to set up your own project server and then how to use it in either the DaVinci Resolve Studio or the free edition. Let's jump onto the computer and check it out in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.1. Getting started, we go directly to blackmagicdesign.com slash support, click on the DaVinci Resolve Infusion software, scroll down to DaVinci Resolve Project Server 17.4 on the left, and click download. You'll have to fill in some general information about yourself, and once it's downloaded, you're going to extract this to the desktop or server that you plan to host this from. In this case, I have a virtual machine set up on my server, and it is hosting the DaVinci Resolve project server. You see I'm installing it here, ask for permission, and then installs Postgres as well as a couple of C++ libraries. Finally, the project server install. You may have to reboot before you get to this, but once you get the DaVinci Resolve install, click all of the default options, just click next, 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 and install. Now you can see that the Resolve database has been created for us. And if we highlight that database, one thing you'll notice is there is no icon in the top right corner of it. That is the sharing icon. To enable the sharing icon, up on the project server toolbar, the first icon as you're going from left to right, right there, is enable sharing. Click that while you have the Resolve database highlighted and it'll ask for authorization to share. Now we are ready to connect our DaVinci Resolve client to it. So back on my workstation, I launched DaVinci Resolve 17. It initially pulls up the Project Explorer window, and now I can see that I'm working against my local database. I'd like to add a database that I connect to remotely. I do that with the Connect Database button at the bottom. Now I'm going to choose Postgres SQL and pause here for the values that you need to enter. The top value is the name of the database that you're connecting to. In this case, we left it default, so it is resolve. The next field is the IP address of your server. This will vary based on the machine that you're running it on. On my network, I use the 10.0.10 .10 network for my servers, and I've assigned an IP address in that space. To find out what the Windows IP address is, here on your server, log in and click the Windows key and the R key at the same time. This opens the Run window, and now type CMD. That's short for Command. Here you can see I have a terminal window up, and inside this I type IP config, all one word, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, hit Enter. I'm going to scroll up and you can see here my IP address is 10.0.10.171. At this point, we click connect and wait. It may take a second to set up the connection to the database, but you will get your project view window again. And now that we've got our local disk, we've also got below that a Postgres resolve database. If you're having trouble with this, it's likely you change the name of the database between what is hosted on the server, Resolve, and what you're connecting to, or you messed with the username and password. If you're not getting any connection at all, it's likely you don't have the right IP address or you haven't enabled the project server sharing back on your project server. There you have it. That's how you set up DaVinci Resolve project server and connect to it. Let me know if you have problems down in the comments. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you want to catch more videos on this. I'm looking at refreshing my how to host DaVinci Resolve project server on the cloud. If you're interested, again, subscribe, click like, and let me know below. Be happy to build it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.